Hey everybody, welcome to another Workout Wednesday. I'm Paul Goodman, Head Strength and Conditioning Coach for the Chicago Blackhawks. And this uh, week I'm riding solo. Uh, we got a little bit different venue. Uh, so we got a little bit more uh, stuff this week that we're going to cover uh, some things similar. And then other things, if you've joined us for the other ones, the other three, uh, that we're going to kind of build upon. So if this is your first time, I'll show you progressions of different exercises so that you can choose based upon your level of ability as well as knowledge. Uh, and then therefore we can have a really great session where everybody gets accomplished in what they're doing. Some things this week are a little bit more advanced for you guys that have been here in the previous weeks as well. So uh, let's get started. All right, so to start with, we normally have been starting on our feet the last few times. Today, I'm just making sure I'm in the camera. The, today, we're going to start on our back and work through a progression that leads to, to a crawling position, to a half kneeling position, and eventually we'll get onto our speed again. So today, we're going to start on our backs, okay? And then what we want to do first is grab both knees, so you should be feeling a nice relaxation in your low backs, and then we're just going to slightly rock side to side. Okay, when we rock side to side, we're just getting some of the low back to relax, working on some of the mobility of the lumbar, which goes into flexion. And we're just nice and relaxed, just getting ourselves into it. Just a couple more seconds. Good. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to grab one leg, extend the other leg. So we're doing a single leg knee hug, and then I'm going to say switch. So you're going to switch to the other leg, keeping that foot off the ground. Switch again, switch again, good. Driving that knee towards the chest, switch again, switch, switch, one more each side, and switch. Good, from there we're gonna cross our one foot over the opposite side knee, so we make a figure four with our legs. We're gonna reach through that space in between our legs, Grab behind the knee and pull and hold. Three, two, one. Switch. Cross. Reach through. Pull. Three, two, one. And switch. Pull. Three, two, one. And switch. Reach through. Pull. Three, two, one. And switch. One more each side. Cross. Pull. Three, two, one, and switch. You feel like you're getting a little bit more range in your glute. That's good. Three, two, one, and relax. Good. Now we're just going to be laying on our backs. And what you want to do here is just kick your leg up from the bottom. You're trying to create a little bit of force there and creating velocity. So you're going to get in your hamstring here. Okay, so we're going to go for 10, 9, 8, 7. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Other side, ready? Set, and 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Good job. All right, let's flip over into quadruped position, okay? So when we're in quadruped position, just to recap, we want our wrist underneath elbow, which is underneath shoulder. So we're stacked there. And then our knees underneath our hips. So we got 90 degree angles going from our hip and 90 degree angles at our shoulder. All right, from there, we're gonna do a cat camel. All right, so cat camel, we're gonna use the breath. So on the inhale, you're gonna draw everything up, trying to get really, really tall with your spine in the back. And then on the exhale, we're going to let it sag and look up, okay? So on our breath count, ready? And inhale, draw it up. Exhale, come down, look up. Inhale, draw up. Exhale, look up. Inhale, draw up. Exhale, look up. Inhale, draw up. Exhale, and look up. Good. From there, we're going to go into a half kneeling position. So half kneeling is when you're in 
a split position, okay? So we did work the split position last week and the week before actually, so we were at 90 here and 90 here. That's a perfect split position for if you're going into a split squat or up and down. Um, for today though, we're gonna put that foot out a little bit further. So I'm at like a 110 angle there, roughly. So what we wanna do here is using the breath, we're gonna start with our arms down, and then don't do it yet, but we're gonna lean forward on the exhale, driving that knee forward, getting really long in our spine and getting back hip flexor and a little bit of adductor on the front side as well. And then we'll come out of that and inhale again. So with me now, with the leg out, Ready? Inhale, exhale, reach forward or reach up and drive forward. Back, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Good, let's switch it up to the other side. Other side, flip it around. Legs at 90 here, extending it a little bit. Ready, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Good, good job everyone. Now we're working on adductor and hip here in a different way. So I'm gonna say, show you from two angles, okay? So this is where I am, I'm in a tripod position. So I got my right foot out, my knee down, and my hand down, okay? So when I'm in the up position, I'm gonna reach overhead and look, and my hip is gonna be extended here, well, not really extended, but it's higher than when we come back. And this will make sense in a second. So we're going to come up, and then I'm going to sit back and reach through the space in between my arm and my knee. Then we'll come forward again, and the inhale, exhale, we're going to sit back and reach through. Okay, so from the front, we're in this good tripod position. Now we're going to go. You're going to join me, okay? So lift up, rotate, inhale, exhale, sit back and reach through. Inhale, exhale, sit back and reach through. Inhale, exhale, sit back and reach through. One more. Inhale, exhale, sit back and reach through. Good. Now let's switch the hands and the knee out to the side. Ready? Arm up. Look at it. Inhale, sit back and reach through. Now you might find restriction more on one side than the other. That's normal. Inhale, sit back and reach through. Inhale, exhale, sit back and reach through. Inhale, exhale, sit back and reach through. Last one. Inhale, and exhale, sit back and reach through. Good job. All right. We're off the floor. All right. Now we're going into standing position. Let me just move this up a little bit. All right, so with the standing position, we've done a lot of work when we go with our feet in the beginning where we haven't done any mobility before, but now we're going back to feet, okay? So we're gonna lift our heels up and then rock back to lift our toes. Up and down. This is for time, so I got your time going. So you join me whenever you're ready. Lifting up, lifting the heels up, lifting the toes up. Lifting the heels up, toes up. Heels up, toes up. Heels up, toes up, good. Now place one foot down where you have just the ball, the heat ball of your foot. And what we're gonna do is swivel that heel around, uh, working on a circular pattern of our ankle, okay? But what I want you to emphasize is putting some downward pressure, not that much like I'm doing, downward pressure as it swoops around the outside. Okay, so circle it one direction. Now the other direction. Warming up our feet. Going back the first way. And down the second way. Good, let's go to the other side. Same thing. Circular going one direction. Downward pressure. Go the other direction. 
Go the first way. And go the second way. All right, good. Now we're going to start working on our balance. So our feet are warmed up. So two options for you. One is going to be we're all going to start off on a single leg and balance by taking our, our, taking off our opposite leg. So you have two options here. Your first option is to stay like this if this is, if this is difficult. So you stay in the balance position like this. Second option would be if you close your eyes. Okay, that obviously takes away your focal point and makes you have more stability or instability of your ankle and you try to balance more. Your third option is the hardest option. That's going to be starting with a flat foot. Our eyes are going to be open, and then you're going to lift your heel. So you lift your heel of the opposite leg. Hard to look in that direction. Lifting your heel of the opposite leg and holding off the heel. Okay? So when you do that third option, that's why it's hard to look around. You need to focus on the focal point. All right? So let's start on our left foot. Balance with our eyes open. Now transfer that weight if you want to go with heel off the ground. You can lean forward a little bit. Knee's going to track a little forward too. Stay right there or have your eyes closed and balance there. Another 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Good. Shake out that calf. Shake out your foot. Other side. Ready? Eyes open. And eyes are closed or heel is off. Heel is off. That's it. Got to focus. You need to touch your toe down. Keep doing it. That's fine. Oh. Three, two, one, and relax. Good. Let's go back to the first leg. Ready? Eyes open. Eyes can be closed or raise off the heel. Hold that balance. Keep holding. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Good. Other side. Last time. Ready? Eyes open, balance, and eyes closed or heel off. Whoa, too much there, Paul. There we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Good, shake it out. Now we're just going to get ourselves a little bit more warmed up. More warmed up. We're going to start off with the jog, okay? Nice and easy jog. Just picking those legs up. Arms are just lightly moving. I'm just going to go for a few seconds here, then we'll transfer to something different. Just nice and easy job. All right, act like you are jumping rope. So a little boxer style, you can go two foot style, you can go running, whatever you like. Just keep moving, keep moving, bouncing off the floor. Good, now let's go to shuffle. Shuffling back, shuffling across, shuffle back. Shuffle across. If you have a tight space, don't worry about it. You can just go a couple steps. This is just the length of a mat that I'm going. Good. Back and forth. Back and forth. There you go. Keep going. And back to jump rope. Jump rope. That's it. Keep jumping. Nice work. A couple more seconds there. And then we're going to go back to the shuffle. Ready? And go. Lateral shuffle, back and forth. Lateral shuffle, back and forth. If you're feeling confident, just go a little faster, quicker off your edge, staying low. All three variables are important. Good job, everybody. Ready? One more time. Jump the rope. This time, go a little faster. Lateral faster. Good job. Nice. Keep jumping, a couple more seconds, and step two, shuffle, back and forth, quick to go, nice, keep it up, good job everybody out there, good, and three, two, one, and stop, nice job, let's get right into it, feet anchored in the ground, 
arms out to the side. We're just rotating our torso about our hips. Move your head with it. Keep turning. Good, now face down, swing the arms into a bent over rotation. Couple more. Try to go at a pretty good clip here. Back to standing upright again. First the rotation. Good, and bent over. Nice job. Swing it. And relax. Good. Finish the warm up segment. You guys did great. Let's get down right into the next section, starting with some core. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is again back into that quadruped position. And we're going to do a, what's called the bird dog. Don't know why it's called that, but we'll figure it out. So hands underneath, or wrists underneath elbows, elbows underneath shoulders. Good quadruped position here, like a table. So you're going to raise thumb up. Reaching with one arm, extending the opposite leg. So what I look for here is to make sure that your toes flex towards you and that you're not lifting it way up here. You're just trying to make a straight line from thumb to heel, okay? Then I'll say down. Then we raise the other leg. Straight arm, straight leg. Back down. Up and down. So on and so forth, okay? I'll call them out because we're going to hold at the top for a couple counts. Ready? And raise it up. Right arm, left leg. Down, left arm, right leg. Down, right arm, left leg. Down, left arm, right leg. Down, right arm, left leg. Down, left arm, right leg. Down, right arm, left leg. Down, left arm, right leg. Down, two more each side, right arm, left leg. Down, left arm, right leg. Down, right arm, left leg. Down, left arm, right leg. And down, good. So that should have activated all the way in the posterior, right from your shoulder down to your, through your glute and hamstring, okay? So that's what that one does. Now we're going on to the side, all right? So we're usually doing this on our hand the last few weeks, or on our forearm. This week we're gonna go on our hand, so it's really important that you're thinking about stacked and that you don't get out like this. This makes your shoulder very susceptible. So you wanna be stacked, all right? So your options are knees stacked. So you can be in this position or feet staggered or feet stacked, okay? So I'm gonna show you all three of what we're doing. So if you're on your knees, we're gonna lift up that top leg and hold it like this or like this. And then when I say down, you just place it down and then raise it back up, okay? If you're on your feet staggered, same thing. Raise it up, back down, okay? Stack the same thing, all right? So it's really important that you get that shoulder locked in and that you're not just dropping and sitting on it like this. You wanna be strong up top, all right? So stay on one side. You guys pick your side. I'm gonna go staggered, ready? And lift up the top off the bottom. Hold it, down, lift, down, lift, down, lift, down. This one's longer, it's the last one. Lift, hold, and down. Nice job. Switch it up, other side, other side. So kneeling, staggered. Stacked. Ready? Let's make sure our hands are underneath our elbow, underneath our shoulder. Raise that up first. Make sure you're in a good spot. And lift. Down. Lift. Down. Lift. Down. Lift. Down. Last one. Longest. Lift. Hold it. Five. Four, three, two, one, and relax. Nice job. Good work, everybody. Now, go back to your first side that you just did. And now, this one's a hard one, okay? And I'm going to be straight with you. So, top leg is going to be down. Bottom leg is going to come off the ground. So, what does that look like? So, top leg down, 
I'm going to raise up my hip, and then I'm going to bring that leg up. So I'm bracing myself on the adductor, the inside of my leg, on the support leg. If it's too hard, just lower your toe to the ground. You're still going to get it. It's just going to be a little less intense, okay? So just be careful. Place your toe down. There's no heroes here, right? We're just trying to get better every single set. So ready? Let's go. Top leg down, bottom leg down, raise your hips. Good. Brace yourself now. Raise the bottom leg up. Hold it. Keep holding it. Keep holding. Place it back down. Stay in the bridge. Ready? And lift again. Hold it. Keep holding it. Place it back down. One more. Ready? And lift. Hold it. If you have to put your toe down, you put your toe down. Three, two, one, and relax. Nice job, everybody. Let's go to the other side. Same thing. Same thing. All right. Make sure elbows underneath shoulder. Feet are staggered or slightly up. Ready? Raise your hips. And lift the top or the bottom up. Hold it. And down. Lift. Holding. Shoulder back. And down. Last one, long one. Ready? Lift. Hold it. Got five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Good. Come out of that. Nice job, everybody, on those. Those are tough. We're going to revisit them again. But now we're up on the top here, okay? So everybody stand up with me. And we've done this in the last week, but we're not doing it the same way, all right? We activated adductors, abductors, and glutes. So now we're going to use them. Use them to our advantage because they're all active. So we're going to do that icky shuffle. So the one, two, one. One, two, one. So if you're just learning it, just do the foot patterning. One, two, one. One, two, one. If you know it, we're going to add some speed. So you can still stay upright. Just go a little faster. The third version is faster and lower. So that's down here. Stay low. We're pausing on the outside of each one. All right? So we are all going to go together. You pick which one. Staying high, just getting the footwork. You know the footwork, stay high. Or three, staying low and being Agile through the middle, staying through that low position. All right? We're going to go in three, two, one, and go. Back and forth. Stay low. Good. Make sure that weight goes to the outside, but shoulders don't trap. And shoulders stay in. Outside, shoulders stay in. Good. We're going for 30 seconds. Keep with it. Good job. Stay with it. You feeling good about what you're doing? Go a little faster, but not on the edge. Want to pause at the edge. Good, you got 10 seconds. Keep going. Good work, everyone. Stay with it. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Good. Catch your breath. Catch your breath. Again, building on what we've done in the past, where we've done that impulse skate hop, where you lift the outside leg, drive it into the ground, and push yourself over. Similar but different. All right, similar but different. You got two options. Both of the options, you guys, or three options, really. If you don't feel comfortable in skate hops, just do the skate hop. Just get used to that. Rock jumping back and forth, back and forth. That's option one. Option two, balancing on my left. I'm going to take one hop to the left, push to my right. Pause, one hop right, push to my left. Okay? So it's a lateral opposite direction. Uh, little hop. Left goes to left to push to right. All right? Your third option is to do double. So two hops to then push. Two hops to then push. Okay? Those are your three options. Regular skate hops, one hop push, or double hop to push. All right? And we're going to go in three, two, one, and go. You pick which one you want to do. Good. You notice you got to pause to catch the weight of your foot or your momentum of your body. I'm sorry. Good job, everybody. 
Got 15 more seconds. Keep going. Push. Five. Three, two, one, and relax. Sorry about that. I was looking at the time. I forgot what I was doing. All right, good job, everybody. We're going to start back down on the ground. First one, bird dogs. Catch your breath. I'll give you a second if you need a quick drink. Everybody take a quick drink if need be. All right, otherwise, down into quadruped position. All right, so we did that bird dog. Straight leg. Now, we're going to bend the knee and drag the heel up to the ceiling as we do the bird dog, okay? So you got to really squeeze your hamstring with your heel going to your butt. All right, ready? Let's go. Left arm, right leg. Raise it up. Hold it. Down. Switch. Up. Down. Up. Drive the heel. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. One more side. Up. Down. Up. And down. Nice job. Let's go to the opposite side that you started with the last set. We're going on our hand in that side bridge with the leg coming off the bottom. Okay? So find your way. I'll give you a sec. All right. Ready? Let's raise up. And lift the top, hold it, and down, up, and down, up, and down, up, and down. Last one, long one, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Nice job. Switch it up, other side, other side. Ready? Hand underneath your shoulder. Feet staggered. Knee. Ready? And up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. And hold. Five, four, three, two, one. And relax. Nice job. Good, let's flip back over. We got that adductor hold. So on our forearm, we can have staggered feet. Opposite leg is the top leg is straight, okay? Opposite leg is straight. Ready? Raise up first, feet are down. And now bring the knee up and off. Hold it. And down. Bring it up, hold it. Job and down, up and hold it. Last one, long one. Ten seconds. Keep holding. Three, two, one, and down. Nice job. Let's flip it over. Other side. Forearm. Elbow underneath shoulder. Legs are staggered. Ready and raise up. Put it down. And raise it up. Hold it. And down. Up. And down. Last one, long one. Ready? Up. Hold it. Ten seconds. Stay right there. Five, four, three, two, one. And relax. Nice job. Let's pop up. Onto the shuffle. Onto the shuffle. Remember, going across. What I meant to say is, don't let your shoulders go this way because we're going that way. So if I go across and I go like this, it's inefficient. Right? When we teach in uh, all sport, you want to always have a mechanical advantage. So I know I'm going that way, so i got to lean slightly in that way as well when I change direction. Ready? 30 seconds. Set and go. Pause on the out. That's it. 
Here we go. Pause on the out. Shoulders stay in. Good job, everybody. I know everybody's killing this right now. Doing great. Guys are doing great. 15 seconds. Keep going. That's it, everyone. Stay with it. Stay with it. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Good. Catch a breath. Next one, going to little hop either once or twice or just skate hop. Okay? Always going to the opposite side before you jump to the skate hop. Ready? Lift the leg, set, and go. Good. Back. Push hard. Regardless of which one you're doing, make sure you're pushing hard for that skate hop. We're all warmed up and primed. You should be able to get a little distance, a little speed. Good job. You got 15. Good job. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Nice job. Grab a quick drink. We're on to the next section. Good job, everybody. Good job. Catch your breath. I'll give you a moment. I'll give you a moment. So the next part is a full composite of foot quickness, core, as well as some isometric strength and some power. A lot of stuff in this next section. All right, so I assume everybody's back. So this one, we have done a single leg RDL, okay? We've done that in the past. So we're doing that again. But now we're elevating the game a bit. So I'll show you from the side. You can have hands on your chest. We're all going to come down and stay here. And then we're going to open up our chest one way, then the other way. Back and forth, okay? Now, what makes this hard or harder, you guys can just hold the isometric RDL if you want to. Or you can do the rotations with hand in the chest. Or the third option is to rotate and press the hands away. Rotate, press the hands away. You guys pick which one you want to do, okay? You can just do shoulders. You can just do the single leg RDL. Or you can do the shoulders and the press, which is the hardest out of all three. All right, ready? Pick a leg, any leg. Come down. Good. And now, let's go. Reaching if you want. Back and forth. Keep on that hamstring of the front leg, okay? That hamstring should be fired up. Got 15 seconds. Keep doing it. Hamstring and glutes starting to engage and get fired. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. And shake it out. Woo, good burn. Good burn. All right, let's get set to the other side. Ready? Hands at chest. Bow forward. Get that hamstring engaged. And now you choose which way you want to do. Good job. Turning and pressing, or turning alone, or just holding the ISO. Good job, everyone. Ten, 15 seconds, 15. Keep going. Good job, stay with it. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Nice job, shake it out, shake it out. Good work, all right. Now we've done this, we did a circular circuit last week where we did bodyweight squats to squat jumps to ISO holds. This week, I'll show you really quick. We're gonna go to squat jump mini, mini squat jump, just getting off the ground, but still using our hips, down and up to an ISO hold, back to the mini jumps, back to the ISO hold, and then ending with big jumps, high as you can go. Okay? We're gonna do that whole series, one time through. Ready? I'll, show, I'll go from the front, so well, actually I'll go from the side so you can see my hips, all right? Ready? Little jumps. Here we go. Up and down. Sinking back into them. 
Good work, everyone. Five seconds. When I say it to you, you're going to stop and go right into the ISO squat. Ready? Down and hold. Get low, keep posture up. Sitting back on the heels. Good work, everyone. Ten more seconds, and we go back to those mini jumps. Back to the mini jumps in five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Little jumps. Little jumps. Keep going. Keep it up. Five, four, three, two. Going back into the ISO squat. Down and hold. Down and hold. Stay right there. Fight it off. You came for the burn. You came for it. Now you got it. Keep going. This one we're going to end with big jumps. Ready? And big jumps. Go. High as you can. Whatever's left. Keep going. Keep jumping. That's it. Five, four, three, two, one. And relax. Nice job. Shake it out. Shake it out. Shake it out. Good job. All right. So when I write programming for the players, I do things that pre-fatigue what you just did so that when I ask them to do speed, they have to fight through the fatigue because they're never as rested, I think I've said this before, as they are at the beginning of the game. They're going to have lactic acid. They're going to have breathing. So they have to be fast when they're tired. Sometimes we do it before, but sometimes we do it like this. So this drill is crossover. Then one, two. Crossover, one, two. Three-step drill, one, two, three. One, two, three, okay? So we are gonna do that. If it looks like this, that's fine. Actually gives you time to think if you bring that knee up high. But ideally, you wanna stay low to the ground and be fast, all right? Demonstration purposes, I'll go a little slower. Ready, set, and go. Cross. Remember, it goes three steps. Just count. I'm not going to bother you with counting because you might be on a different step than me. Just keep crossing over. If you feel good, start to pick it up. Keep going. Fast feet. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax. Catch your breath a sec. We're going to do it again. This time I want you to go faster. Get out of your comfort zone. Try to go fast. Try to keep that tempo. Keep that thought process. Don't lose track. Okay? Don't lose track. Ready? Set and go. Fast feet. Fast feet. Keep turning your hips over. If you lose it for a sec, get it right back. Keep going. 15 seconds. Keep turning those feet over. Keep going, keep going. Five, four, three, two, one, relax. Nice job, catch your breath. Catch your breath, all right. Different one, hard one, okay? This one's a hard one. For everybody, it's gonna be hard. You got three options, three of them. First one, hanging straight down, we're gonna go into crouching down with off. Option one, Come forward into push-up. Okay, going back, forward into push-up. Option two, come down into the push-up, press back up. Option three is with hands like this. Okay, so I'll show you from the front. Hands like this. I'm in the crouching down with dog. I'm going to come forward and lift my one hand off, push back up. Okay, to two hands. Come back down, other hand support. Press back up to two hands. Come down, press. Come down, and press. You guys can pick whichever of the three you want to do, okay? Once again, crouching downward dog to push up position, crouching downward dog to push up, and crouching downward dog to single arm hold, okay? That's your options, okay? You pick, ready? Let's get into quadruped position so we are in the right position for the down. Ready? And raise up. I'm going to do the push-up. Set and go. Back and forth for time. Keep going. 
Nice. Keep driving out of it into that crouch. Good. Keep pressing. Nice work, everybody. You got five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Nice job. Catch your breath. We're back to the top. We're back to the top, which is that RDL. Okay? Going right to it. So, left leg or right leg down. Arms across your chest. Ready? Bow. Now let's go. Open to the side. Open to the other side if you like. To use your arms. You can use your arms. Good. Stay focused. Nice job, everybody. 15 seconds. Good work. Got five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Good. Shake it out. Shake it out. Good 30 there. All right. Other side. Ready? Raise up that back leg. Chest comes down. And let's rotate back and forth. Good. Keep turning. Keep turning. Keep pressing. Got 15 seconds. Keep it up. Chest stays down. Leg is soft. Feeling that hamstring. Feeling that glute. Three, two, one, and relax. Good. Shake it out. Shake it out. Good. Go to the squat jump series. Okay. Start off with mini jumps. Ready? Set and go. Little jumps. Use your arms to propel you up. Keep sitting back into that squat. Good job. Five seconds. Keep going. Good. Squat sit. Hold it. Stay right there. Nice. Down low. Posture. Chest up. Keep holding it right there. Going back to the mini squat jumps next. In five, four, three, two, one, and jump. Little jumps, sinking down though. Don't quit on your squats. Just quit on that, getting max height. Just getting off the ground. Keep going, keep going. Three, two, one, back to the squat, sit, hold it, 15 seconds. Stay right there, good job. Right there, stay with it. Five, four, three, Two, one, and big jumps. Let's go. Big up, big ups. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, one, and shake it out. Shake it out. Nice job, everybody. All right, going to that crossover. We're going one set as fast as possible. All right? One set, fast as possible. Big breath in. Compose. Ready, set, go, cross. Quick feet, quick feet, 30 seconds. Keep going, keep going. Last drill for the day, then we stretch. Keep going, turn them over, turn them over. Keep it up, got 10 seconds, keep going, keep going. Come on, that's it. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Catch your breath. Said one thing too soon. We got the downward dog. My apologies. Now the last one before we stretch. All right? Everybody, quadruped position. Got your breath a sec. Big breath. Good. Raise the hips. Good. You pick whether you just go to push up, push ups, or stabilize on a single hand. Ready? Here we go. For time. Good job, everybody. Make sure that head's coming through the shoulders on the crouch of the downward dog. Press all the way back in. Good. Five seconds. Keep going. Three, two, one, and relax. Nice job. You made it through the hard stuff. Good job, everybody. Let's get a quick break. 
We're a little over time. I apologize. This next segment will be two minutes if you want to stay with us. All right. So as you count, catching your breath, take a big breath in and then exhale, fold forward. Fold right there for five, four, three, two, one. Walk your hands out to push up position and then settle your hips on the ground. Settle the hips on the ground. Now, keep your shoulders away from your ears so you're pressing. Now I want you to squeeze your glutes as hard as you can to stretch out your low abs and your hip flexors, but don't lose track of pressing hard with your upper body. Hold that. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Sit back into child pose. Be active with your pressing in. Press back in, stretch your shoulders, pull back. Good. Come back up in the quadruped. Crouching down with dog. Up on your fingertips. Walk your feet to your hands. When you take it any further, bring your hands back towards your feet. Hang straight down. Five, four, three, two, one. Put your hands on the ground. Step back in the push up. Go into upper dog. And squeeze the glutes. Five, four, three, two, one. Sit back on your heels. Reach out with your upper body. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring your hips up. Walk your hands back to your feet. When you can't get any further, bring your hands to your feet. Hang straight down. Five, four, three, two, one. Come off your heels. Squat down. Grab the outsides of your knees. Tall posture, so my arms are straight, so I gotta be really tall in my posture. Gonna hold that. Big inhale in, try to get tall with your spine. Ready? Inhale, get tall and long. Exhale, push out on your knees. Take your hands to the outside again, ready? Big inhale, get tall, long spine, long neck. Exhale, push out. Good, now just grab both knees and hug. Relax your backs, and then you can sit down, stand up, lie down, somersault, whatever you wanna do. Good day today, really appreciate you guys coming out for the Workout Wednesday, our fourth edition. Really appreciate you guys taking the extra time with us today. I know I'm over, but have a great day, enjoy, go Hawks.